Hey guys, welcome. Jennifer Morero here with Morero Family Farm. We have some crazy stuff going on right now. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to handle it, but I'm gonna let you see what's going on on the farm. All right, welcome to Morero Family Farm. This is my husband who is going to lasso our cow she is not tame by any means we've only had her for oh, uh, maybe a month about a month she has horrible horrible hoofs and we need to get them trimmed so I don't know what we're doing I don't know how we're gonna do this but it's gonna be an interesting ride for sure so I think what his plan is, he is going to obviously tie her up on the tree. I don't know if he's going to try to get her to lay down or what he's thinking, but my husband is a mastermind who comes up with all kinds of things and they manage to work half the time. So hopefully this one works because let me get in there for just a sec while she's calm. I want to try to get a video of her hoofs so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Her, We bought her like this. And, um, Sergeant, easy. So, as you can see, her hoofs are crossed over there. Um... And she's been really struggling when she walks. You can tell she's in a lot of pain. Her, her, her front hoofs are not any better than her back hoofs. Her front hoofs are very long also. Right. So I better get out of the way here just in case. So I think he's going to drop her. All right, so we don't have a head gate. Um, we were not planning on keeping her when we bought her. We had to buy three in order to get the one that we wanted. We noticed after we purchased her that her hooves were really bad. We should have looked at it first um, before we purchased her or all three of them. We should have really taken a better look at their hooves. So for anyone who's purchasing cows in the future, um, just a tip for you make sure you always check their hoofs we asked a lot of questions about a lot of things but one thing we really didn't pay attention to too much was their hoofs yeah she's not she's not tied up tight so she's okay she's just laying there relaxing we do not have a milking sanction yet we should have a milking sanction, but we don't, so we can't even put her in that. I have been trying to find a farrier. I cannot find a farrier in our area, so that's been a struggle as well. Tired? She's heavy, huh? Well, our plan didn't work. 
Um, we were able to trim a little bit off one of the worst hooves, but it was just too much stress. She, as you can see, let me show you her hoof. And I don't have anything. This is my phone. You, so we're giving her a treat for her well-behavedness. Is that a word? <laughs> she be. Oh, she just got shocked by the fence now. Ay ay ay. Yeah. Goodness, these wild, wild girls. See her hoofs are so bad. So we need a farrier. If anybody is in the northeast Alabama area and knows a farrier, somewhere around here. Um. Yeah. See her front hoof. Yep. Can you see that? Yeah. Ding dong. Her front hoof is bothering her pretty bad. We just can't do it. We can't do it, but we did. I say we, I didn't do anything. I held a rope for like five seconds and then I got a rope burn. Um, so we were able to trim some of that back hoof, but obviously, see how cracked it is? It was cracked before he trimmed it, but he was able to shorten it a little bit. So I'm sure that one feels a little bit better because that was the worst one. It was crossed over really bad. Um, then of course, this one back here is crossed. See that one's crossed pretty bad there too. And then this front one is really bad. Gonna say hi? Yeah. Huh? You good? Missy? That's <laughs> harmony, not messy. Just saying. <laughs> here. Here you push it. Just push it over here. Bossy. Stick my whole hand in here. Oh gosh. She's she's gonna get shocked again. Who her? Okay, I'm not giving that nobody look. See that, that front one is so bad. We need a farrier. Please, somebody help out. Yeah. We'd really appreciate anybody's help that you can give us. Oh gosh, you got shocked again. I felt it. <laughs> ah, hate that. You did it to yourself. <sighs> girls, 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 girls. We would really like to help her out though. All of them really. So she's the youngest, which is the craziest to me because she is only, she's only two years old and her hoofs are worse than everybody else's. So I don't know if maybe, you know what I think it could be. She was nursing off a mom for a really long time. Probably about, I think up until just recently, right before we got her, she was still nursing from mom and she's almost two or she, yeah, she turned two this month. So it's probably just an excess of calcium, to be honest with you. That's probably why her hoofs are so long. That is my, um... Yep, that's my educated guess on it. Right? She just nursed off you way too long. And she got an excess of hoofs there. It's all your fault, mama. You shouldn't have let her keep nursing from you. Mm-hmm. We tried. That's all I can say is we tried. Whew. So, yep, it's been a wild show this morning, to say the least. Everybody's doing good, though. 
cows are happy again. Nobody's tied up. Nobody got hurt in the making of this film. No humans or animals were injured, thankfully, because my husband was looking a little, uh, a little winded there for a little bit. Um, if you have any questions about anything or, you know, if you'd like to just chime in on an easier way maybe to get these hooves trimmed, that would be amazing. I am still on the search of a farrier. I have it on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so hopefully somebody can chime in out there and, and help me um, find somebody. That would be great. So we can relieve some of the pressure on this poor girl's feet. We really do care about our animals and we want them to have the best life and live comfortably. Um, so it would be really nice to have her comfortable. I don't know why her previous owners, they were really great people. Um, I'm not sure why they haven't taken care of the issue and they definitely did not warn us of it um, when we purchased them. So that would have been nice to know. But again, it's our fault. We should have checked their hooves a little bit better. Um, you know, it's, a, it's the purchasers. It's for the purchaser to be aware of what they're purchasing. Um, you know, just be careful and be aware and it's a lesson to be learned and we're still new at this and we're learning as we go, but this is definitely something that we will never forget about in the future when we purchase our next um, cows. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. We bless you. And until next time, you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.